Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, right, so this is a seven week update. Um, I'm quite happy actually because I had a few people comment on my videos and it's quite nice to know that I'm not just making these aimlessly, even though I really enjoy making them. So uh, yeah, let's get back to business. So um, it's been seven weeks since I've had surgery on my scaphoid with a few pins, um, ligament, tendon damage and, and, and a dislocation as well. So it's, yeah, it's been seven weeks and I've got a lot of uh, progress. I've been doing physio um, quite religiously. I've been doing about three, three to five sessions of physiotherapy by myself um, a day. Quite extensive physio. Uh, fi uh, you know, I've got some exercises from, f from the physiotherapist, but I think every day I've been adding my own little things to it because I think I know my body quite well and I've had a lot of progression. Um, my arm now feels like my arm and my hand. I know it's really hard to describe, but maybe you can relate, but like it, literally one week ago, still, I know it's only been seven weeks since the surgery, but like a week ago, my arm didn't feel like my arm. My fingers didn't feel like my arm. Now this feels like my arm. My, my muscles as well are like, it is not flabby anymore. They're getting back a lot, a lot firmer or getting that firmness, firmness back. My finger dexterity, dexterity is getting good as well. But um, if we do a quick, uh, I've forgotten what, what I said would be my tests, but um, I ran, I'll kind of, I think I can remember what they were. So one was kind of with, with doing circles. So my finger, here we go. So like my fingers are so much better. I can I can straighten them a lot more. Um, and I've got no trouble doing that circle at all. Um, the rest, the rest of, of it, when it comes to um, the rotation, yeah. That's back to normal, it, and I don't bend in either. So that's gone, gone back to normal, and flat waist has gone back, back to normal. So all of that is good. I've been doing a lot of exercise um, with that. Um, I have been pushing my wrist hard, so I have got some movement back in it. It's not going to look like a lot, but I'm super stoked to have as much as I do. So. I don't re really recall how much I had last time, but I know it's improved. So kind of bending it, you know, I can do that. And that's huge. Like I can actually bend that quite a lot. And then backwards, I've got, yeah, a lot more. Sideways is still a bit iffy, but yeah, that's so much better. And I can do fuller fuller circles with it. It just feels a lot more like my wrist. I've been also able to do a little bit of weight training as well. And when I mean a little bit of weight training, I mean very, very small amounts. I've been doing a lot with resistant bands um, and also like picking up, I can pick up about five kg and do certain exercises with it. When I first started doing it, I, I was really scared not to damage my wrist, but it, I don't know, like I grip it first and it, and it feels really weak, but once you start engaging those muscles in that grip, it, it feels good. The only problem I've really had is I've gone, I've gone back to work. I went back to work two weeks ago. As a hairdresser, I use my hands and I am, um, the first week I did way too much. My wrist swelled up, I had a lot of pain in it. Um, my muscles were just tired. And like last week, yeah, by by the, by about the fourth day, third or fourth day, all down here on top of my arm, the muscle was just killing, and my wrist hurts as well. And it, it hurts when I have activity. I don't know if that's just because it's so soon after surgery or, or if that's a long-term thing, I'm, I'm still gonna see the surgeon. Uh, but yeah, my, 
my wrist, I have a pain or like an ache, a discomfort in my in my wrist when I'm working. But on, on day to day, if I'm not using it too much, um, it's fine. I, if, I can kind of start doing normal stuff with it. I don't even have to think about opening doors. I can drive now. Sometimes if I have to stick it like in reverse with a hard hard gear, it, it hurts. But everything's pretty pretty cool with it. Um, I don't have to think about picking anything up with it. Obviously not too heavy. I pushed a trolley the other day just with this hand and it was a bit stiff and I got pain through it. Um, scar wise, yeah, uh, where is it? Is it? Yeah, that's that's kind of healed up. I still got a pin in there. It's a bit sore. It, it's coming out in about two, three weeks. That's when I'll see the surgeon. Um, I've got that as well. That scar's pretty much gone. But um, yeah, in two, in about two, three weeks. So that would have been 10, 10 weeks since surgery. Um, maybe it's gonna be even longer, but they're gonna take this pin out and do an x-ray to see if my scaphoid has healed. They, they murmured stuff to me about, you know, if the scaphoid doesn't heal, they might have to do like a little hip, hip bone graft, just put into the scaphoid, but the x-rays are all good. Um, I've been holding back on lifting anything heavy, but if it's all kind of healed and, and, and good to go, I think I'm gonna push it quite hard with the exercise because it does feel, does feel good. But the movement's amazing in it. My one concern is, because I had a dislocation, it's left me, like this is my good wrist, but it's left me with this lump. I don't know if you can see that really. I might be a bit picky. Can you see it better on that side? Yeah, look, like this lump, and it just makes my arm look a bit, bit weird, and I don't really know what that is. I tried to search it up, so, when I see the surgeon, I'm gonna ask him about that. Um, my grip strength has improved massively. It's still not the same as, as what it was, um, but I'm doing a lot of grip strength exercises uh, with it. Yeah, that's about it. I'm feeling really positive with it. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of movement back in it. I did manage to get into a push-up position, like an actual push-up position, like a plank on my hands like that. I, I was putting most of my weight through my good arm, but at least I got into a push-up position. So a surgeon did say something to me about, you know, he, he I might not ever be able to do a push-up again in my life or stuff like that, which if I'm gonna go see him in three weeks, if he says it's all good, I'd quite like to do a push-up in front of him, just in case my wrist just explodes or something. Now, at least I'm in, in, in hospital. Um, but yeah. Other than that, all, all groovy. Um, not much more to, to say really, but yeah. All feels good, feels like my hand. I'm slowly starting to progress with that. Oh yeah, also I, I've, I take like ice plunges. Every time I took an ice plunge, my whole elbow got pins, pins and needles in it. And I was talking to my physiotherapist who's, who's awesome. Um, and we realise that I have like a trapped, is it ulna nerve, ulna nerve that affects these two fingers? So I've had to do some ulna nerve, and it's kind of weird. Like these are my these are my good fingers. Yeah, and these, can you see these two are like red and also swollen at the tip, and that to do with my ulna nerve. So it's a it's it's a bit weird. I'll, I've got exercises too with that, but it's like a trap nerve. I've never had a trap nerve before. Um, and it's quite bad. Like I get, if I, if I raise my arm up, I get pins and needles in here. So that's something completely irrelevant to, 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 to the bone break. What else can I say? It's, 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 it's going good. The, the progression's really slow. I got, Last week, I didn't really still get much movement back, and I was a little bit disheartened. I kind of thought like, oh, am I really actually gonna be able to get much movement back? So then I started pushing it a little bit further, and doing my, doing a lot of kind of, not forcing it into position, but I was doing a lot of resistant band, kind of slowly pulling it in. I've been doing a bit of like, uh, uh, 
relaxation with it as well because I think the muscles are all so tight around it I've been mentally trying to relax and tell my arm it's all okay and then that's when I see the biggest progression I haven't done any kind of exercise videos of what I'm doing because I don't really know if that's anything that people want to see but maybe I might do if some people are interested in, in, in what I found that is working for me so far but yeah the movement in it is good, it's spinning around, I've got good grip strength, it feels like my hand. And it's all groovy. Yeah. So yeah, other than kind of it hurting if I overwork here, I'm gonna do kind of part-time working hours. Um it's all good. I'll probably won't make another video for a while, just so because I've gone back to work, I'm quite busy. Also, you know, all the wounds are healed up. I think I'm probably gonna wait till I go uh, back to see the surgeon. I'm gonna try to get him, I'm, I'm gonna try to record him taking a pin out because it is disgusting. Like they slice it open while, while I'm awake. They like get some pliers and they literally just yank the pin out. So I'm gonna try to get that on video because that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other, other, than, other than it kind of hurting it, it hurts when it's cold as well, but other than it kind of hurting um, day to day, I've got good mm, flexibility in that. Look at that. Woo! So it's going good. So yeah, I, I will make a video for about another three weeks after I see the surgeon. Um, but other than that, yeah, every day gets better. And... It is true, like, you, I have to work at it. Every day I'm doing physiotherapy. It's sore when I do physio, but, you know, it is, all, it is what it is. Peace. Peace.